<laughs> All right. Oh, what's up? What a weekend. What a fun weekend. Lots of birthdays. Actually, my wife's birthday is today, but uh, we, we celebrated a bunch of other people's birthdays this weekend, ending with Ashley's birthday. So this is actually her birthday episode, which is awesome. This episode has nothing to do with her or her birthday, which is kind of funny. She didn't want to be in the episode today. So it's just me and we're doing a fun one. Big shout out to the OKC Food Eater. He hooked me up with this new Glarus beer, only available in Wisconsin, available year round and most places in Wisconsin, but if you're not in Wisconsin, you can't get this beer. So this is Spotted Cow by New Glarus. It's a farmhouse ale. Some people call it a cream house. What? Some people call it a cream ale, but uh, they call it a, uh, a farmhouse ale. It's employee owned, the New Glarus Brewing Co Company, and uh, it's in Wisconsin. So they uh, actually let, they let some of the yeast into the bottles to create some more funky flavors and stuff. So it's a fruity, cloudy farmhouse ale. We allow the yeast to remain in the bottle to enhance the fullness of flavor so it's naturally cloudy. Let's get into it though. Farmhouse, cloudy, cream ale, new Glarus. Uh, again, big shout out to the OKC Food Eater. Look him up on Instagram, at the OKC Food Eater. Cool guy, mysterious. Love the cap. It's the state of Wisconsin and it's a thumbprint. It's a thumbprint state of Wisconsin. I kind of like the label. It's, it's, really, um, it's really simple and almost antique looking, like it was brewed years and years and decades ago. But I don't know, there's something about it that just really gets, catches my eye. So let's see. Coming out very, very corny straw color. Looking like a straight up Pilsner, but um, yeah, a little bit cloudy there. So it's it's got a little bit of uh, a little bit of fogginess in there, but very bright and yellow. Nice, really white head, with just a touch of yellow. Not getting a lot right off right off the nose, right off the tip, but I am getting some kind of cream, some cream house funk. Pretty smooth, a little bit uh, creamy, almost milky, lactosey. Smelling really good, a little metallic, but uh, let's dive in. Only in Wisconsin, huh? They're known for their cheeses, so. Ooh, that's a good creamy farmhouse. It is very creamy, sweet, playing with a little bit of fruits, really refreshing, almost the perfect, whoa, Amish, Amish, almost the perfect springtime summertime beer. Like this is what I want to have in the fridge after mowing the lawn. So yeah, like I said, playing with some fruits there, cloudy, soft, and creamy. Not as sweet and creamy as a typical cream ale, but I'm getting that, that funky farmhouse vibe. Not a lot of crazy flavors coming out, but really, really drinkable beer. Uh, spotted cow, baby. Medium to the upper medium side of carbonation. Not boozy at all. Oh, 4.8% alcohol. Yeah, and no bitterness whatsoever. Coming straight out of South Wisconsin, the Spotted Cow, great job. I really do want to try some others from you guys, but it's not every day you're in Wisconsin. Mm. Some food pairings, bacon, lots of cheeses, Swiss cheese maybe, and uh, some barbecue. Some like brisket with some bacon and some cheese. Mash it all together. Anyways, big shout out to New Glarus and the OKC Food Eater for hooking me up. This is Spotted Cow. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Patrick and I'm making it great. Ow. Happy birthday, Ashley.